When 40-year-old Abraham Shakespeare wins a massive lottery prize in Lakeland, Florida in 2006, an ordinary man starts an extraordinary adventure. He took a lump sum payment of 17 million. When Shakespeare won the lottery, the entire community won also. She presented herself as to be a writer. She offered to write a book. So from there, a friendship budded between the two of them. But the book is just the start of Dee Dee's deal. She convinced him to put all of his holdings in her company name. But Dee Dee is far from a savior. visible reality if you're interested in their lives. Many lottery winners are doomed to lose their entire fortune and sometimes, much more than that, their sanity. They often reach to a much worse situation than they ever experienced, let alone, some of them are killed for their money. So is there a winner's curse or it's all an urban myth? If it's more than a myth how do we explain such state of affairs? This is your host JC, and today we are diving into the mysterious, and often fatal, world of lottery winners. Some of the common challenges that lottery winners are confronted with, might frighten you. Mindless spending. They tend to spend large amounts of money in a blink of an eye. Conspicuous consumption. They spend for ridiculously expensive and often useless things. Addiction and ruin. Many of them tend to develop an addiction, which might affect their judgment and their spending habits. Poor planning skills. They find difficult investing their money in a lucrative business, let alone making profit out of it. Poor understanding of help. Their closest relatives or friends who receive large amounts of money may also develop addictions and live a parasitic lifestyle, which may lead to the premature death of these people. Drawing predators. They become targets for merciless characters, some of whom may be their closest relatives or friends. Scientific research has proven that after only one year from winning the jackpot, the level of happiness is no longer influenced by the fortunate event and lottery winners are just as happy as they were before winning. Does it worth winning the lottery after all? Lottery winners seem to be of two types. The vulnerable type, the vulnerable winners are usually overwhelmed by their good luck, and let themselves be carried on the wings of their unbalanced emotions. They are frenetic and live under the impression that their resources are endless. They typically are poorly educated and hold a sensual, epicurean belief system. Their behavior may be impulsive and irrational, influenced and motivated by their strong belief in good luck. Vulnerable lottery winners have the bad luck of attracting terrible individuals who are lured by their money and try to take advantage of their goodwill. A good example of vulnerable lottery winner is Abraham Shakespeare a 42-year-old and illiterate black man who could be a living commercial for Lottery, the institution that sells illusions to the most vulnerable members of society, 
suggesting that their lives could change overnight with just one ticket. Abraham Shakespeare used to be overly generous and threw money around to help and make everyone happy. He could not say no to a person in need, even though he feels harassed by this army of helpless people. His life seemed to be changed for the better when he meets Doris Moore, a tender-hearted blonde who just wanted to write a book about Mr. Shakespeare but somehow reached to control all his finances. Eventually, Doris Moore helped Mr. Shakespeare to entirely disappear and she was convicted for murdering the unlucky lottery winner, after taking advantage of his generous and naive nature. The Strong Type These lottery winners are able to take joy in their winning but they won't lose their mind. They often keep their job or invest in a lucrative business because they love being active. Strong lottery winners live for the future and are preoccupied with multiplying their money, rather than spending for useless things in order to make a big impression or to derive a sense of personal worth. Strong lottery winners know that money isn't the secret of their happiness. Also, this type of winner may seem cheap or close-fisted. Not necessarily overly educated, can be just a bus driver, the strong type is instead wise and experienced. An excellent example of strong lottery winner is Brad Duke. He was already relatively rich before winning the lottery, and tried to avoid changing his lifestyle after winning. He didn't even change his old Volkswagen. Instead he has a lofty goal of becoming a billionaire before his 80th anniversary. Brad Duke, through his cerebral and wise attitude is one of the few lottery winners who defy the urban myth of lottery winner's curse. He's not yet a billionaire but this is not more important than his health and sanity. Moreover, he is still young. Just as there are stages of grief, so too are there stages of sudden wealth. There's the initial euphoria, self-indulgent spending, a growing sense of responsibility, then anxiety and sometimes a yearning for simpler times. They say that an excellent way to know a person's character is giving that person a large amount of money. The lottery winners that ruin their lives may have the same difficulty as any other person who lacks self-control and moderation, also known as emotional intelligence. Jane Park, a young lady from United Kingdom, at the age of 17, said winning the windfall had ruined her life and she often thought things would have been better if she had never won. Ms. Park, now 21, argued that someone of her age should not have been allowed to win such a substantial sum of money. She said, 18 should be the minimum age for winning the lottery, and suggested the current limit of 16 was too young. From this standpoint very few people are truly prepared to tackle such a big of a challenge as winning the lottery. Each of us may find ourselves in a situation where great material success comes without the psychological and emotional resources, without the wisdom, thus becoming an unfortunate opportunity for personal decay. Most likely, those who lose their mind just because they won the lottery are those who are most vulnerable to the deceptive spell of the consumerist society. Teenage millionaire. Jane Park is a teenage millionaire. Jane Park is a teenage millionaire. Are you filming this?